We have fire arrows, there is no way. Arrow volley fire! Arrow volley fire! Arrow volley fire! Hello everybody, I'm Redouble, and this is Age of Empires 4, and today we'll be taking a look at England, and if this weird little protuberance is meant to be Wales, then this glorious little fertile land is England, which would be my house is probably right around there, which is where the internet goes to die, and I cry a little inside. We've got our map selected, we've gone with a mountain pass, because nothing says an easy win like a choke point. And there we are, as the English, we go from the 9th century to the 16th century, so probably around 100 years before the, like, formal uh, formation of the United Kingdom. And we'll be facing, we get eight factions. Let us go, oh, they were kind enough to put in John Cena. And here we go. In every game, you start off with five villagers, so we're just going to bonk this poor little sheep on the head. Which, honestly, th did they have to put in that sound effect? That was... That seemed pretty barbaric, but hey, you gotta start somewhere. Alright, we're gonna put, um, four people on wood. You start with six, not five. I fucked up the count already. Alright, well, they're gonna go with wood, and they're gonna go... They're gonna go with wood, and they're gonna go with food. And then we're gonna queue up some builders. And then, we're gonna take a little look around the map, shall we? So, England are, at the same time, one of the best rushes in the game, but also the defensive powerhouse. Um... Because it, as is different from every other Age of Empires game, the way you age up in this game is you uh, build unique landmarks, and that allows you to tech up. And uh, by doing that, um, you age up. And England, at ages two and at ages three, or is it age? No, it's at ages three and four. They can build humongous keeps, um, which are very formidable, particularly on a choke point map like we've. Um, like we've selected today. I'm just gonna make a random house there. It doesn't have to look nice. This isn't Minecraft. Just make it. Um, but yeah, they're also one of the best rushes in the game because they get early access to men at arms in the very first age. So we could actually be making a barracks right now and we could just go terrorize the uh, enemy. Uh, we need a bit more wood, but I feel like it's just a lot. Uh, I, th I feel like it's just a much better decision to just, you know, slowly build up. Particularly against the AI. I guess if we were playing another person and you just really wanted to... <laughs> hey, welcome to Age of Empires. Time to uninstall. You could just rush them down. But we're actually... We're going to take our time and just uh, have a little bit of fun. Alright, go harvest some berries now. So, unlike in Age of Empires 3, which you only really needed gold until the second age, we actually need gold to age up right away. So, that's why we're building an early gold mine. And we're just going to keep spamming out these uh, villages because uh, we need lots and lots of resources. So, in addition to being one of the best rushes and obviously being able to build keeps uh, for free, essentially. Well, not for free, but just for the cost of teching up uh, rather than forking out however much they are uh, on their own. Um, they also get huge economic uh, benefits because their houses cost 50 and their mills only cost 50, which is half, or I'm pretty sure that's only half of what other uh, factions get. So, a perfectly viable strat with England is literally to just make probably around three fully manned mills. Three fully manned mills, and then building a marketplace and just trading food for all the other resources you need. I don't know when in history England was ever such a breadbasket. I'm pretty sure that's why we expanded, and I'm pretty sure in every war we've ever fought, food has been the most uh, precious commodity. But apparently, at some time, we were very um, we were self-sustaining when it came to food. We are in the ninth century, so who knows? The only thing we're taught about English history that far back is the Battle of Hastings, which, again. Every, like, literally every English boy is taught about that battle. They, oh, we lost, and this is... The, so this is where all the French words in our language came from. Oh, now I get it. I'm so glad I know this now. I'm, I'm forever enriched uh, by this knowledge. Okay. So to age up, we need 200 gold and 400 wood. Uh, and this poor guy is literally doing it all himself. Um, I don't want to get the upgrade yet, because I actually want to rush the, the age up. So if we, if we get one of these, it will cost us precious gold. And I'm not going to do it yet. But I, I like this way of aging up. Uh, you don't age up through the town center now, which means you can age up and recruit villages from your town center. 
Which is just a really cool way of doing it. Alright, we need 400 more. Oh, we've seen we found them. And what's weird about this game is that you can queue up orders by holding shift, but it doesn't, unlike every other RTS in existence, it doesn't, um, it doesn't show you the path. So I just queued up like five orders and you would never have known. Okay, so we're going to edge up now. The Abbey of Kings heals all nearby friendly units that are out of combat, or the Council Hall produce longbowmen at 100% speed. Well, that's what we're going to go with. Because we are going to longbow rush out to the arse. Alright, so while this is going on, we can actually make more villages. So it's very different to other Age of Empires games. Of course, you have to be careful where you place your landmarks, because the objective of the game is to destroy enemy landmarks. So you'll actually notice... Uh, did I lose my fucking scout? The sheep lost his scout, and now I'm concerned. No, there's no way. I told him to retreat. What would have killed him? Well, this sheep has no master now. He's a, he's a... Oh, well, that's a shame. So yeah, as I was saying, you'll notice that the AI, uh, particularly in long games, they will spread out and they will hide a lot of their landmarks uh, so that you can't um, find them. Which is actually kind of funny that they would do that, honestly. Um, and games can go on a long time if you uh, don't actually just prioritize the landmarks. There are other objectives. There are other ways to win, but I've turned them all off. There are the sacred sites that you can capture which is basically like a capture and hold but I like the traditional Age of Empires just ransack the enemy base and see how we go all right so a lot of these upgrades are for age two and there's a little progress bar it tells you how many villages we've got working on it uh, I think all the villages I'm making now there's our little building queue I'll put one on to keep up the building and the AI actually beat me to the feudal age. Now, that, that's not a big deal because the AI will always, the AI will always rush to the feudal age. I'm not sure why they make them do that. Maybe it's because a lot of factions can just rush the mana arms. But they'll start to slow down now. And there's our scout. All right, I'm not really that worried about it. And the reason why I'm not scared is because the longbow spam in earnest. Or is about to begin in earnest. Um, and then you'll actually get to see the full power of uh, England. So the reduced cost on the farms really... I mean, that 50 wood as opposed to 100 for a farm means you really can just go for it. And we'll get the wheelbarrow because we don't want these guys to do... Why is there a sheep ruining the harvest? Get out of there. Alright, we'll put you on gold. There is a fourth resource, stone, which you need for a lot of defenses and a lot of fortifications. And there it is, it's done. Okay, so for our lumbermen, we need lots of wood and lots of food. Now, food isn't such a bad... or We're actually pretty good on food. We've got eight villages on there now. But we're going to um, start harvesting some wood. And then we're going to start rushing them with the beautiful longbowmen. Now what's awesome with these longbowmen is that unlike other archers is that we can actually set up these uh how do you pronounce that is that palings pile I don't know I'm, I'm just, I just always called them uh, spikes but you can set them up to just completely uh, disrupt cavalry charges and I'm really annoyed with him flanking me so I'm just gonna quickly build a palisade um, you know we'll just build one there. Palisades have low uh, low hit points, but I mean, they, they, they do a decent job of stopping the enemy, but it's not really for him to go through, it's for him to go around, and that's kind of what I'm, what I want him to do. Alright, we really need a lot of food, or a lot of wood. So we've aged up, so I'm not sure if... I, th I think we're still in Old English. I don't think the Norman, the Norman influence has taken over for our archers, but as we age up, um, apparently their language becomes more like modern English, but I would, I would never have guessed that, honestly. It still sounds like gibberish to me. Alright, quick. Everyone to harvest wood. You know what? I just realized I haven't built a freaking lumber camp yet. There we go. 
This is how you play England by Rude Devil. So another aspect of the... Yep, as, as that scout just realized, our villagers come with uh, little bows. Literally, it just said they come with little bows. Um, which allows us to... Which allows our villagers to be um, slightly more... Uh, well, allow them to defend themselves a lot better than other villagers. But also, our town center um, fires more arrows. So, um... Basically, every part of uh, England is meant to be, uh... They have the ability to rush, but it's also about how well they are at defending as well. Okay, so we want to... A lot of our upgrades require gold, so it's good that we have this. Increase village gathering rate of wood. Yes, I will take that. Thank you. We can get the campfire upgrade. Which allows our uh, longbowman to heal. And we need level 3 in order to get the Veteran Longbowman. And then level 4 to get the Arrow Volley, which increases our attack speed to 70%. Which is a little ridiculous. Alright, I don't care if he thinks he can go round. No, hold on. And deploy! And that little fucker with his goddamn sheep. Okay, but this wall is done. So let's just continue building our palisade. Yeah, he's set. Understood. We haven't actually harvested any stone yet. We should probably get to that. Because, uh, as I said, there are some upgrades. A lot of defensive upgrades require stone. Alright, we're just going to keep queuing up longbowmen. I don't care if we need a barracks. I don't care about any of that. We're just going to upgrade, upgrade our mine as well. So you should always be making um, villages, particularly in the early part of the game. And he's dead, and more archers are entering the fray. Yes, strail it pussy. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I remember learning that. All right, we're a bit late building a market, but we're a bit late building a lot of things. We're not here to rush, so that's fine. We're just here to take it in our stride. We're here to play it cool. We're becoming very, very, um, self-sustaining. I only 75 gold for that upgrade. Yeah, sure, why not? We've only got four people in gold. We have so many people in wood. Our dedication to the longbow has almost maxed out our population. But also meant that we've put way too many people on wood. Alright, so to, to tech up again, we need 1,200 food, 600 gold. Not really that big a deal, honestly. We're going to make one trader. We'll make a blacksmith. And we've got three more villagers coming in. That's actually looking pretty good. We'll put them in formation, which is a bit janky, but I like, I like to put them in the line. And we'll see how we get on. Alright, now, basically the top, lo the top row is usually damage, and the bottom row is armor. So we've got melee, we've got range, and then we've got siege. And in typical uh, Age of Empires fashion, by the end of the game, you'll have so many upgrades. The OCD in you will just want to uh, research everything, and it will take you a, uh, a long while. Alright, we'll build a sort of a forward barracks here. And how are we still low on wood? I've got 10 of you. I haven't made a, an archer in ages. Everyone, there. We're just going to have three guys on stone because it's the shittest job in this neighborhood. Alright, is there a trading site where we can go? Yeah, we'll, we'll explore it there. And if the trader just goes back and forth between the marketplace, we'll get some sweet gold. Alright, we're going to make more archers and rip my wood. And this is what I was talking about. Where's that marketplace? Um, we can spend gold to get wood. Sell wood to get gold. I think we have to... We can only exchange gold to get wood. We could sell food for gold. Oh, this could be our shortcut to our teching up, actually. Yeah, I think we've just done that. I just sold some... We just sold some food for gold. And let's go. Alright, we're just going to build one outpost up here. 
Which you have to garrison the outposts um, until about age four, and then you can put cannons on them and they just fire by default. But until then, towers are slightly nerfed by the fact that you have to uh, you have to uh, garrison them for them to do anything. Okay, we are starting to get stoned, which thankfully you mine pretty quickly, so... This guy will about to, uh... Yeah, I think it's time, even in, the, even in the second age, I think we're about to... Just completely destroy <laughs> China. Alright, now, the spikes have a bit of a cooldown. So, you want to always think twice when uh, redeploying your... Uh... Redeploying your uh, archers. Okay, is there any free villagers? I think I turned off the setting where it 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 uh zooms the camera to where my idle villagers are because I don't know where that villager just went. Fine, we'll just pick you. All right, we're gonna age up now. So we get the king's palace. Acts as a town center with all behaviors, technologies, units, and bonuses. So that is decent for Britain because obviously they get a more powerful town center and uh, they fire more archers. But the White Tower, the Biffy Two Player and me cannot resist this. This is our first defensive landmark, and we are going to put it. Um, part of me wants me to put it like up here on the wall. You know what? I think we will do that because it just looks so majestic if we do that, and we can protect it fine. You notice how the AI hasn't actually attacked us. I think the AI has this uncanny ability to know when we're vulnerable and when we're not. Wait, did we find a market? No, we didn't. I think the idle villager was literally the, uh, the guy. Oh, and here they come. All right. Let's see how they get on against my longbows. These, the Chinese crossbowmen are strong. All right, all the cavalry's dead, so we can just focus fire these guys down. Focus fire them. Literally, what the the AI is doing. And I think we're actually going to die. The cavalry managed to find the exact hole in our defense. You little luck. Okay. Well, there's a way around that too. Oh my god. Well, we managed to kill all of his cav. Okay, we'll retreat for now. Well, that was a bit unexpected. That was unexpected, honestly. He's gonna just try and destroy my landmark. Alright, he's got five guys. Let's just try and be patient here. If we rush out, then we'll just die. And if... if if I didn't have to move my archers there, I think we would have got him. Alright, they won't do much damage. Alright, let's see what a man of arms with his sword and shield can do to these crossbows. Yep, that's what I thought. My poor Lombo, man. I had so many and they just got cut down. But I guess it makes for more entertaining viewing if the AI makes me work for it, you know? And he's dead. All right. Well, that was that. And I think we, he did. He did succeed in killing the villagers. Ah, oh, and he's going up through there. Ah, he's getting very bold now. Oh, I see. Okay. And he seems to prioritize in my villagers. I think the AI knows whenever you're about to age up. Or when you're trying to age up. What is that? That's a sheep. That is not cavalry. Okay. Okay. Well, he actually he managed to interrupt my outpost as well. That's not very nice. That is a lot of cab. I don't have nearly enough spearmen. And those crossbowmen really creep me out. Their attack speed is insane. Okay, I think I made a mistake rushing the upgrade. I think I made a mistake rushing the upgrade. 
His crossbowmen do way more damage than mine. Holy shit. Look at that. They just tear through my guys. Go Spearman, focus the one with low health. It sounded so much like he said Theoden's man just there. Okay, we are actually making it. He's not going to stop us. As soon as this keeps up, then we're good. Then we're good to go. Alright, we need to actually secure that flank. Because he keeps out flanking us. No! Stop killing my bloody builders, you merciless asshole. I think I woke the beast, honestly. I think I woke it. You see what I mean? My formation seemed kind of pointless when the AI starts attacking like this. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we're drowning in wood now, so all these guys, you're going to the front. Don't ask what happened to the last villagers that worked there. It's fine. I'm telling you, it's fine. The keep is almost done. We can do it. I believe it. It is done! Okay, everyone get inside. We'll celebrate later. We have more things to do. God, that was that was exciting. I enjoyed that. I think, as I said, I think the AI does know when uh, you're trying to age up. I think they just, they're, they're told. So here we are. We have our keep, which we can make anything from. And we're actually going to have to make another... Uh, we're going to have to make another mill because our food is running very low. We have, we're, we're high on everything, except for food. Oh, bloody hell. No, my archers. Oh, no, those are villagers. Oh, shit. The villagers, run! Run for your life! Run, bitch, run for your life! Alright. We can get boiling oil, which we're definitely gonna get. Now, each tower can only get one upgrade, but... Our keep... Our keep... Um... Can get... All the upgrades and look at that rage and that's only eight of them in there at the moment and we're making longbowmen from our keep as well so in age of empires 3 the keeps could make all types of units which seems fine honestly all right we're gonna upgrade that all right and now we need way more f no, that's a that's a house cancel that Okay. So as I said, there's probably a better way of doing this, but you know what? We're just going to do it this way. What is this upgrade? Armor clad. Increase the ranged and melee armor. Oh my god, yes please. You want to build um, backup buildings, because obviously it takes so long to upgrade. And we're just going to do that. But we have so much to do now. We have more gold together. Enemy attacking a landmark. Well, let's see how that gets on. Let's get the spring the spring old in place one. Adds a defensive spring old. And we get cannons in age four. And then network of citadels. Increases the attack speed bonus from 25 to 50 percent. And there's the boiling oil. I think they're trying to get their sheep back. <laughs> well, good luck with that. Alright, any archers in there? I don't think so. Any archers? Any of you? Okay, your archers. Then you can go on there. So, we can only have one of these. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Alright, and we'll go around there. We'll send some troops to protect you. And I really like the turtle gameplay. As I said, obviously you can rush. But it's just so much more satisfying to do this. Alright, we're finally going to get veteran longbowmen. We're going to build an extra archery range. That retinue. Well, that sounded somewhat English. Retinue. Yeah, I'm, I'm beginning to understand. It makes sense. All right, gold mine's running low. The stone is already out. We'll have to go there. Oh my god! Those Chinese cross... Why are you going that way? Why are you going that way? These Chinese crossbowmen are terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. How did you get round there, but you can't go back? What the? 
How do you? Okay. Are you serious? There is no. Okay, I think the game's lying to me though. This is the only way in or out. I don't think so. Hold on, let's have a look over here. All right, he's got battering rams now. I think we'll admire it later. All right, the battering ram you can actually hide troops in, which is cool. I think we'll just build some towers to really fuck him up. All right, we'll deal with that later. Kill the troops, because they'll kill us. All right, these guys won't be able to do anything with me. The shields really make a difference. And he's gonna, now he's going to try and retreat. Okay, so this wall was pointless. I thought it was... I didn't know it was pointless. Okay. And there's a nice gold mine for us. And we'll make another one here. And we need another forest. That'll do. And I had a lot of vil- Oh god. Okay, they're actually building that. Okay, we're gonna build some spearmen. Uh, let's get this. Let's get that. Let's get some villagers, because we've already got one on wood now. Oh no, well they'll make it, they'll be fine. Uh, we'll just put them there. So how is he getting in the back line? I don't understand how he's doing that. He must be breaking in through here and then going all the way around. Which is rather annoying. We could make knights of our own. But I'll just make the hardened spearmen. And we'll get the mana arms upgrade. Uh, we need like a, a nice surplus of villagers now to just sort of finish up these walls. You can actually mount the walls, but I've sort of found it to be very awkward, you know. Because the because the uh, villagers carry bows, I sort of get confused about. Uh, I get confused like, <laughs> are they villagers or are they uh, archers? Oh, no. The AI has reached the castle age. I think he's going to start spamming, um... He's going to start spamming siege. Alright, let's go down here. And, but maybe finally we can actually, uh... Sort of fortify this area. There we go. That should get it done. We'll put them in a nice line. We'll put spikes there. We'll put him there. There's a bit of micro involved, but you know. What game doesn't? All right, we'll build a monastery because what civilization is uh, complete without religion, or so they tell me. All right, and we need a bit more gold, so we're gonna start putting more people on gold. And stone, yeah, stone is secondary. Stone you just need for the walls and upgrading your forts and everything. I think we're fine. And you know what? We'll build another. Uh, We'll build more of these, uh, stone towers. Yeah. One of you- one each, please. That would be- that would be efficient. Okay, what do we need to tech up? Can we have a- I have a lot of villagers just sitting around, apparently, and I don't know where. Alright, we have a siege workshop, which I guess we'll just get for the upgrades because we can make siege from our keeps. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, okay, we'll put them on there. We'll put them on there. Him on there. Alright, now we can tech up. Advance to the Imperial Age. Produce the... Wingard army from the landmark. Army includes one of each manor arm, spearman, longbowman, knight, and trebuchet. Or we can get the Berkshire Palace. Berkshire Palace has 50% greater weapon range and double the number of arrow slits. Well, I think for that to be effective, we'd actually have to go into the enemy base and attack. And doesn't that look like an amazing formation? Look at that. That's really nice. I think we're just I think we're gonna build our Berkshire Palace. And I think this is pretty formidable, so we'll put it... Uh, I think we'll put we'll build it, like, sort of the top of the hill here. And now he's going to attack. And I just hope that we can... I hope we're just in range to defend him. And all idle villagers must go. And you can go that way. Can we destroy these? We can... You have to hold the button. Okay. Alright, so we're just going to make some troops while that's ticking up. And we're really desperate on gold. Let's, uh, let's start buying some gold, shall we? There we go. There goes all of our food, but we're much likely to get more food than gold. And if we hold shift, we can make five of these at one time. And yep, they heard. They heard. Look how many archers he's got. Holy shit. He's got two battering rams. He's really trying to stop me. It's amazing how I'm outnumbered every time. Oh my god, I think we're going to lose this battle. Stone Towers, do your thing! Okay, I think the Man of Arms are what's winning it for us. And I think they're gonna get the Berkshire Palace! Do I have to spend all that money again? <laughs> do I have to- No! You asshole! No! Alright, so we found out the AI- Oh, boiling oiler on the siege towers? I didn't know that. I wanted... Where was my other siege weapon? Yeah, you. You are the anti-siege siege. Okay, well, they made me mad now. Reap what you sow, my Chinese brother. Alright, we'll just repair this. Oh, and he's got a siege tower. I wonder if he's actually going to land troops on the wall. That could be interesting. Alright, Man at Arms. We're just going to start queuing up loads of guys. Because it seems that I'm not making enough. I think that's what I'm learning from all this. Alright, now we're out of food. We're out of food, and we have to tech up again. I think that was actually a pretty big blow, honestly. Alright, so that's making troops. That's... This one's not making troops. There we go. And this one's got a huge Q. Okay. If the trebuchet's trying to hit the scout. Well, now it's in everything. I wonder if we make the Berkshire Palace at the top here. We could just sort of goad him into doing that. Alright, I think we should probably get the armor upgrade, shouldn't we? And I think we'll make another blacksmith as well. Uh, we, did, we did make the monastery, right? Religious units can heal. I've never really... I think the AI just focuses them, but we'll make one just to say that we did. And then we can obviously make a keep for 800 stone. 
Yeah, just in case he, just in case he's deciding on doing anything fishy, we'll just do that. I didn't know that these could fire bo boiling oil. That's so cool. Alright, I'm- it's actually kind of a- I, I was expecting this to just be a- like a blowout, just me absolutely destroy him, but not only has he reached the third age, um, but he stopped me from taking up to the fourth age. This is just wood and food, right? Yeah. Or, uh, wood and gold. Oh, we're out of wood finally, okay. Do the mana arms require wood? They do not, but they require a lot of food. Actually, I think it's I think it's much better to just make if we just cancel uh if we just make another uh, barracks. <clears throat> And they're out of stone. Alright, time to look for some more. There's got to be more stone around here. Ah, there's some. And there's our monk friend. I thought I was researching that. I guess not. Balanced projectiles. Wedge rivets. Okay, so I was behind a lot on technology. A lot on technology. I didn't realize how far back I was. Let's get some farm, shall we? Yeah, I think we'll just have to put more people on... Uh, more people on wood. Alright, who's still queuing up? That's the last of the mangonels. And what is this? Reduce the time it takes to produce infantry, cavalry, siege, and transport buildings. Transport units at buildings. Eh, uh, sure, why not? Alright, now we just- I think we'll just sell some food. For gold. Because we're generating a shit ton of food. Who's that? That's a monk. Right, they're sending in their religious guy. That's... nice to know. Oh, we should probably scatter, just in case, uh... In case he's got a mangonel, and he just literally cluster bombs us. Alright, do we risk going a slightly further forward? I think we do. Because we're going to build our Berkshire Palace any second now. Man, it, that, we flushed a lot of resources with that. I've got 13. We must have ran out of gold. Yep, we ran out of gold. Please tell me there's another gold mine on my side of the mountain. Please tell me. Please, 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 please. There's one right next to you. I have such a keen eye. I've got six. That's fine. I think if we can just get this fourth age up, and get him to crash and burn, that'd be quite favorable for us. Okay, let's hope this goes better than last time. Because I want to get age four, because I want those keeps, or I want those cannons, and we're just going to literally spam them with cannons. It will be glorious. 
It will be so glorious if we're able to do that. All right, we have enough. Here we go. Berkshire Palace, round two. You can just see how generous the range is there. All right, I guarantee he attacks from this side now. Guarantee. Let's see what we've got. Come on. Come on, China. The Opium Wars aren't for another hundred years. We've got it going on. We've got plenty of time. I haven't made a stables, but we'll make one night. They're expensive, honestly. That's why I don't make them. But I think you definitely get your money's worth. Did I just completely destroy his resources with that last attack? Because I didn't see anything now. And we're, we're building the landmark pretty well. I just want to make sure all of my buildings go here. Uh, do we have... Ah, there's... I thought I made a regular archery range. We can make hand cannoneers. Now, that's where you just move away from wood and you get food and gold. Um, so yeah, that's... I might just make another farm and then just start selling food for uh, gold because this is kind of this is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, uh, see the rate the rates at least for England are are pretty generous, honestly. China, what what are you doing, China? Nope, you're gonna let me get it. Well, all right then. Ah, there he is. Oh, he's got Guandao infantry. Awesome. But the Berkshire Palace is done. We're in the fourth age. Archers get in there. And look, it fires even without any garrison. And we can get cannon emplacements. We can get the network of citadels. All right, and now... Now we're going to have some fun, boys. This is where it gets interesting. We can build a university for all the endgame upgrades, which are really expensive, but really good. 200 st Oh no, that's the wrong one. 100 word. It's a building Andy, yes. This game is using Twitch speak before Twitch. This game is ahead of its time. Uh, okay. Now we need to figure out what we, what we can afford. I think we'll get the final... You know what? It's food and gold. Oh my god. I think we're good. And look how beautiful these buildings are in H4. We've got the modern day foundations and the, um, the the tile roofs. No thatched barns for us, my good sir. We are civilization at last. You know what? We're gonna make we're gonna make man at arms. Man at fucking arms. Let's go. Man at fucking arms. Let's go. Okay. The reason why I built all these is because cannons. Oh, we need seventy-five gold quickly to the market. To the market, give me 75 gold. Okay, Iku, what e, oh. e, E, E. Oh my god, there's the cannon! There's a, <gasps> that range is insane! And there's an achievement, thank you. And I don't know what these, uh. I don't know what these villages are for. Oh, they're for the stone. I must have dragged them in accidentally. And cannon upgrade. Well, good luck getting past this, honestly. We're going to spend all of our uh, wood on a university, which we'll just put there. Okay, so we put our landmarks at the front, which is kind of risky. But then again, I don't think China... I literally don't think China's got anything left. I think they just sort of burn through everything. God, it's a lot of gold to research this stuff. Gold literally finances everything. Um, yeah, 700 gold to get the elite. We can get arrow volley. I think we'll research that. And, uh, I don't think we need this garrison anymore. And you know what? Let's just use the campfire upgrade just to say that we did. There we go. Who needs a monk when you can use the, uh, cross the, uh, campfire? I think that's really the, uh, uh, the really useful point of it. Okay, is there another gold mine? Is this one of those rich ones? It is. Alright. 
Gold. Go. Except for you, you can start making houses. Okay. Uh, we have a siege workshop, don't we? Let's just make another trebuchet. You can make a sort of organ guns. Which are really low range, but are excellent anti-infantry. But I might... I myself prefer the Bombard, because I feel like that's just the most consistent. Okay, yeah, there is no way he's going to win now. Wait, we can build another one? Oh, of course. Epic. All right, and Veteran Longbowman. Now, as soon as we get the university up, we can actually build or research incendiary arrows. We can finally get fire arrows, which you can bet your bottom dollar we're going to do that. I didn't realize I didn't realize all these upgrades were 700... Um, yeah, every every upgrade is seven hundred gold in the in the fourth age. Okay, well here we go. We've got ten archers in here. He never attacks there. I think we can actually probably spare them. He's still using palisades. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep one guy in there, and the rest can quickly go here. And that's like his mill. Okay. Double trebuchets. And now I think we just kick in the front door. I wanted them to crash and burn against our mighty keys, but it seems that they're not so crazy. He's got five landmarks, though. Did he reach H4? No, he hasn't. How does he have so many landmarks? The keep. Oh, he's got his own keep. I see. Please don't attack. That's a keep. I don't know why you're going in there. All those useless men died. Mangonel, not catapult. Oh, Onager, not catapult. Please stop going in. I'm not telling you to do that. All those beautiful men at arms just died for no reason. And the constant bell ringing does get a bit annoying, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'll be honest. That's a little too much. Ah, here he is. The great battle of our time. He's in formation. He's got his own siege. <gasps> this is going to be deadly. Oh my god, this is going to be devastating. This is going to suck really badly. Uh, attack! We have fire arrows. There is no way. Arrow volley fire! Arrow volley fire! Arrow volley fire! I can't tell if I'm winning. Is it working? Kill them now! Send them back into the abyss. I know you invented gunpowder, but we're going to have to just use up that. Thank you. I like men at arms. Can we get the elite upgrade for them? Yes, 700 gold well spent, baby doll. Forget, forget spearmen. All right, we took out his frontline keep, which wasn't even one of his landmarks. <laughs> I love that arrow volley upgrade, by the way. Fucking love it. Alright, you're making men at arms. You're not. Why not? The Imperial Palace. Economic landmark. I haven't played Shani yet, so I don't know what these landmarks do, but... I imagine they're pretty cool. Oh, Gwandao Infantry. Oh my god, retreat! He's using inaccurate fireworks. The history is always so kind to. Burn down the Imperial Palace! Oh my, what the? <gasps> uh, rip infantry. What the hell? Why is he just doing that? Why is all of his siege in there? No! Okay, this isn't worth it. This isn't worth it. Fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. Kill them! What are you doing? Destroy that final building! There we go. Now get the trebuchets. No, kill that dude with the big sword first. Bloody hell, they made this painful on me. Oh, 
Kill the monk. He's just as culpable. And look at the range on those trebuchets. Unreal. Okay, he's got his barracks right in the back. Alright. He's a bit clever. But not as clever as me. Um, let me see. We have an idea. And it's gonna hurt, but it'll be worth it. Alright, we've destroyed one landmark. Is that his town center? I click on it and it doesn't tell me. That's gotta be a landmark. Barbican of the Sun. I, I think it's so cool how we get all these like famous places from history. Yeah, we'll burn his uh we'll burn these things that he's not really using. Can we build a battering ram just to sort of sneak around? Because battering rams are really strong. Battering ram, battering ram, battering ram. Do I not get battering rams? Well that's a bit annoying. Alright, what upgrade can we get from the university? Ah, elite army tactics. That gives me more armor and melee damage. Uh, just let the trebuchets do their job. Man, I wasn't expecting him to have so much siege just sort of cooped up in like one square meter of territory. Alright, but I have another idea. And it involves more cannons. We'll just do two for now. And the Barbican of the Sun is on fire! That's two landmarks down, three to go. And I think he's on his last legs now. He's just running out! For the Emperor! No! Man, I love these fires. Shout out to any Age of the Ring team watching. They copied your effects of the fires. Yep, you, you totally did it first. But I think it's cool. Alright, what is this? And the Imperial Academy. These are his uh, farms. I love how he's smart enough to retreat his artillery if I focus it. They actually did a really good job with the AI in this game, honestly. And even and even just a little intermediate game like this has been so fun. I, I could honestly see myself sitting here for like three hours just sort of, you know, building awesome defenses and letting him charge at me. Ah, he probably built multiple town centers because these count as landmarks, I see. And there's our bombard. Alright, can we build a keep? We don't have enough stone. I'm gonna guess we're out of stone, yeah. Oh well, time to finish. What are these things? Clock Tower Nest of Bees. That sounds like a Chinese name to me. Alright, one more landmark, and I think it must be his uh, town center. No! He has a military landmark at the, at the back. Focus everything on the landmark! Astronomical clock tower. Trying to get some cool stuff. Well, he actually pushed me a little bit. He actually stopped me from aging up the first time. But in the end, we got him. And that was England. Honestly, I've played... I've only played like two full factions. I played Delhi and England. And I think Delhi was way more interesting than England. So, if you were excited by this, just wait until the other factions. And there we go. I feel like it's better to have a longer battle than a boring one. And I think this video proved that. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this little, not really an overview, but a little showcase of England. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Let's have a look at the KD. Yeah, it was pretty close, honestly. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Peace out. Goodbye.